So now we connect Arduino through the USB cable to the computer. Arduino powers up. Now we open the Arduino software on the computer. We open a new sketch. First of all, we select the right board. This is an Arduino Nano. Yes. The processor is an 80 mega 328p with the old bootloader and the communication port is COM5 which is the only port available as there is nothing else connected to the computer. We try if everything works by creating an empty program where we just add a delay function of 1000 milliseconds and we upload the function. Of course we save it. Now the compiler is compiling them and it, is, it has finished uploading the code on Arduino. Arduino is not doing anything as expected. First of all, we define where our valves are connected. So we go at the very beginning of the code and we will define some, for example, constant for the pins. We said that valve A, so we can call it valve A, is connected on pin number, so it's red, red here, number 6. And then we do the same for valve B, which is connected on pin number 5, right? Because it's orange, orange, and orange is connected to pin number 5. In the setup we have to initialize the pins. with the function pin mode so we initialize valve A, so pin number 6 to the output and we do the same for valve B and now in loop we will assign the state of valve A and valve B for each phase of the cycle. For example, let's define a generic phase, so I make a comment and I say phase 1. We will, for example, set valve A with the function digital write. We want to write on, pin, on the pin that is controlling valve A, so on valve A, and we can write high. And we can do the same for digital for valve B with the same function. And in this case we can say low. And then we add a delay, which will say for how long these two valves will stay in this state. For example, 300 milli 3000 milliseconds, which is 3 seconds. If we now don't do anything else, when the code reaches this point, it will then restart the loop and reassign the same valves to the same values so nothing will happen but what we, what we will see if we upload the code now is that the valves will switch one will be open and one will be closed so without connecting the power supply yet we just update, upload the code on Arduino and we look at the relay if they are behaving as expected So the code has been uploaded and as you can see the relays have been switched. What happened is relay A has not been switched and relay B has been switched. This is important because when we this in order to control this relay we have to assign them to low if we want them to switch. So in this case we assign valve A to high. When we assign a relay to high, a pin to high, the relay is not switched because it's the normally the normal state when we, on the other end, assign the pin to low, this will actually switch the relay. So right now, valve A, it's connected as shown, so the power supply goes into the line, the line is normally closed, normally closed there is nothing connected, so the valve, which is connected to the normally open connector, it's not switched. For valve B, 
the line has been flipped to the normally open connector which is where the valve is connected therefore the valve has been closed now nothing happened on the valves because the power is not connected but as, we, as soon as we connect the power we will see that the valves will switch so let's do that now I will plug in the power to the power supply to the power outlet and as soon as I do that we see that valve B has been switched and valve A has not been switched and now we go back to the code and we add for example a second phase phase 2 and in phase 2 we can simply copy the code that we wrote for phase 1 and modify the values so in this case we will for example switch valve A to low and valve B to high this means that valve A now will be the relay A now will be switched on so the valve will be powered and relay B will be switched off and the valve will be depowered and we do this for one and a half seconds so 1500 milliseconds we upload the code as we do that relays are temporarily switched off and now the code is running after three seconds it switches after one and a half seconds it switches back and now again and back and as you can see the valves are doing the same thing on off or on off on off now the valves themselves are not switching yet because there is no pneumatic line connected to them so there is no compressed air but what is switching is only part of the valve until the compressed air comes in in the next video we will explain you how to set up a column and how to connect it to the valves